Ugh, I keep forgetting to buy shoulder pads for this thing. How do I do this? <laughs> Ever since I received this, I've spent the past week singing its praises on my social media. So I've already done the unboxing, that's on my TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I've taken really cool close-up photos of it, that's on my Instagram as well. What am I doing here? Well, I kind of just want to talk about it again because that's how enamored I am with this one six scale figure. Like I said, I've already done the unboxing, head over to my TikTok and Instagram to check that out. It's not very long. I just want to talk about this again, this one six scale Star Trek First Contact Captain Jean-Luc Picard made by XO6. A couple of years ago at least I talked about the 1-6 scale Captain Picard based on his appearance in The Next Generation. Uh, that was made by Quantum Mechanics, QMX as they're also known as. And I really love that figure, mainly because I got it for half price at an outlet store, but still it was, it was a fantastic figure. 90% of the way there in terms of likeness I think, in certain light and angles they were better than others the photos never did it justice uh, the same team or certain individuals from that team at QMX went out on their own and uh, set up their own company just so they could focus on Star Trek figures and they call themselves X06 this is actually their second uh, release uh, this year. They launched with a Lieutenant Commander Data as he appeared in Star Trek First Contact, 2021 being the 25th anniversary of that film. One of my favourite Star Trek films as well. I did want the Commander Data, but at the same time, you know, when you're talking about high-end figures like this, it's that, right? So I thought I'd save my money for the Captain Picard and oh boy, am I glad I did because he is amazing. As I keep saying, I don't do reviews. I just want to talk about how awesome this is. What I said about the previous figure being 90% of the way there, I, it, I still think it's very good, that likeness. This one here makes up for it. It gets, it gets all the way there, in my opinion. Good Lord, I, I just think it's fantastic. The likeness is incredible. The, the cut and tailoring of his uniform is impeccable, just like the TNG one they did. And this is actually my favorite uh, Starfleet uniform, uh, which is, well, which is why I have this. Just another excuse for me to wear this around the house, I guess. So what they've actually done with his uniform here is they've actually got padding in, in his in his jacket, as well as his, uh, maybe a bit there in the thighs, just a tiny bit. It's in order for the, the uniform to drape on him uh, perfectly, and it, it really does. I might have to get a bit of a lint roller here, but yeah, it is just gorgeous. And they've, they've matched the burgundy much better than my, you know, cheap, cheapo costume, which I'm still impressed by, but still, theirs is just beautiful. The base and stand that he's on right now is there are three options you can have. I went with the default that they provided, which is just like a transporter pad. They are offered an alternate picture plate. It actually looks like the outer edge of a transporter pad. Or you could leave both of them off and there's a, there's a honeycomb pattern on the plastic itself. I love options like that. That's really, really cool. But I think I'll stick with the default transporter pad. When you're talking about 1-6 scale figures, there's always got to be accessories. The most obvious one is the captain's vest. I'll show you how that looks later, but I gotta admit the captain's vest is actually one of my favorite alternate looks for uh, the good captain. Uh, phaser rifle. I don't think he he uses this model of rifle, but that's me being, you know, well, actually, but <laughs> whatever. A series of alternate hands uh, as per usual, so he can grip things, he can point. Actually, he doesn't point. He doesn't do make it so with these hands. That's interesting. Also like the QMX figure, my, little, my favorite little bits is the incorporation of magnets into these things. Both the tricorder and the Type 2 phaser. They both have magnets so they can attach to the side here. Oh, there we go. The tricorder in particular, and I've said this before with the other one, uh, it folds out. The magnets are what holding it together. There's no hinge. It's just a magnet holding it holding it in place. That too comes with its own holster and it goes right there. And the captain is ready for an away mission now. So. Oh, it, it's these simple little things that enhance uh, a figure like this and make it so easy to appreciate the, the engineering and thought that goes behind these things. Yeah. Oh, there is actually one more thing. Hidden underneath the plastic 
is actually a Starfleet personnel file. It's the Enterprise E, uh, but it says Captain Jean-Luc Picard on here. It's, ba it's basically an LCARS display. I can't remember what the acronym stands for. I was actually wondering what these were for originally. So I haven't, I haven't actually looked this up, but I think these clips are to kind of display things like this on here. Like, I think it's the other clip. Okay, put that there. And I think it's this version of the tiny little name tags they sometimes put on the front of these bases. I kind of like that. I'm not going to leave it there only because of the way I display stuff uh, isn't conducive to having this on the front. But that's kind of cool. Again, options, having options. Are these clips to lock these to other, to other bases? Maybe they are. That is fascinating. Oh, and uh, yeah, like I said, this the captain's vest is actually one of my favorite bits. So I want to show that off. Ugh. What? So yeah, what I love about how they've done this is he's got uh, Velcro. Uh, well, we can't call it Velcro because that's a, actually a brand name. Uh, it's got a hook and loop for the front zipper which I really appreciate. It's it's one thing to have a tiny zipper, which I think the previous uh, TNG QMX figure has, but at such a tiny scale, if something were to go wrong with it, then yeah, you're kind of, uh, you're up shit creek. If, if people like me are doing this over and over and over again, back and forth, then yeah, you want to minimize the type of wear that happens. And a, and a tiny zip is just going to has a lot of wear. He's even got braces for his pants. I used to wear braces a lot. I used to wear suits a lot. Not for work, just to go out drinking, basically. And uh, yeah, I fully realize that I'm dressing up a doll on the internet. I have no problem with that. I just wanted to say it out loud. Let's be honest, fellas, that's what these are. And I am okay with that. Well, actually, the action figures. Okay, technically, yes, they are, but they're also pricey dolls. Don't have to be ashamed of it. Just say it out loud. Embrace it. Accept it. There's a part of me that is uh, thinking maybe I should have just done the whole transporter effect for this, which I've actually been doing on my TikToks and uh, Instagram reels. But what amazes me most of all is the fact that I can actually do a transporter effect on my bloody phone now. I can edit that stuff on my phone. What a time to be alive. Magnet, magnet, and ta-da. Every captain gets an alternate uniform, an alternate look, something a little more casual. I think the choice of the vest is actually defined by two things. One, the lineage of, you know, when Captain Kirk or Admiral Kirk was wearing vests in the, uh, in the, the big screen films. And also the fact that Star Trek First Contact was basically die hard on a spaceship. Wait a second. He got some padding in the buttocks. Sorry. Jean-Luc is ready to hunt down some Borg. If I could afford a second one, I would just so I could have this next to the default look. But again, including it with in the one package gives you options. And I love that. You know, considering how much you're paying for this thing, it's they better give you options. I was saying that about accessories before. When this went on pre-order back in May of this year, I instantly jumped on it. Roughly $25 Aussie dollars was the cost of postage. That was the that was the uh, deposit for this figure. And it wasn't until September that I had to pay the rest of it. And doing the conversion, yeah, this ends up being less than a hot toy by a substantial amount. And for that, you get a lot out of this. I mean, he looks so cool here. I, <laughs> I bloody love this. <sighs> Am I recording? I would love to collect the entire senior crew if I could, if that's what they're planning. Yeah, and if this is anything to go by, and the photos of the data are anything to go by, oh my god. By pre-ordering directly from X06, I did save money off, off them as well. It's less than what other retailers currently have it for. Again, that's always one of those things that comes into mind with, with these things. And yeah, I have other 1-6 scale collectibles as well. Uh, I'm always trying to purchase them for less than a certain amount and I 
fully feel how high-end collectibles are really tough to justify. I really, I really understand that. Quite honestly, I had some extra money this year. Captain Picard was one of my childhood heroes, one of three childhood heroes going back, you know, 30 something years. This was worth having, having this in the collection, I feel anyway. And yeah, I'm still so enamored by this. It is just excellent work by X06. They, they have done a stellar job. It just works so well from any angle, any option you might want. Before I forget, I seldom buy uh, hot toys. All my boxes that I still retain, they're in storage and I can't quite get to them at the moment. Do the others do this? Add credits to the people, sort of the major people involved with the production of these figures? Like that's, like I think that's very, very cool. Nanjin is a name I do recognize from, from the previous figure. Yeah, like seriously, credit to all these people for doing such a magnificent job. I've seen toys mentioned like there's a tiny little credit at the bottom or the side of the box saying sculpted by such and such but it's always tiny writing and you kind of miss it and like I said I don't remember if the other toys do that they probably do I just thought that was a really nice touch I am absolutely blown away by the efforts x06 Nanjin and, and the team have put in to, to to this one like they've captured the good captain so perfectly and I love it. I don't know what else there is to say. I just wanted to talk about it again. That's That really is it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for indulging me. I'm just going to enjoy this a little bit longer. <laughs>